Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. Cell phones are here to stay and are an integral part of life now, but we don't know that they're entirely safe. In fact, I've done a lot of research on cell phones and there was some question uh, as to whether they could possibly cause a brain tumour on the side of your head that you use them, but that research is firming up now. So while they are very useful and convenient, we need to know how to be careful with them and we need to particularly be aware of the use of cell phones in children because they are the ones that are going to end up having used them for the longest period of their life and being exposed to the microwaves that are emitted by the cell phones. So I've come up with a few safety tips. Keep your conversations short. Keep the handset as far away as possible and have it on speakerphone. Try not to keep it on your body. In fact, this is a good argument for having handbags for men. We really don't want it sitting near the crown jewels. Avoid using your cell phone while moving because the power has to go up to uh, keep attaining the signal and finding and establishing a new signal. Avoid using it uh, while you're moving in a car or bus or train because the power has to increase to get the signal through the metal. Don't use your phone at petrol stations or hospitals because it might interfere with the equipment. Turn your phone off during an electrical storm because it may act as a lightning rod. Hands-free has been um, looked at, especially for children, although at the time the evidence wasn't certain. But I do think it's better not to have it against your head. Also, when I looked at Bluetooth, there was conflicting evidence. I do worry about these devices that people put in their ears and walk around with. There is a risk that it may magnify the signal. And also, don't use the phone when the signal is weak, because the phone will put out more signal. Now, as I mentioned, the people who are more at risk are children. Their brain is still developing at young ages, and this may stimulate cell multiplication. With children, ask them not to use their phone unless there's emergency, and ask them to text in preference to using the telephone. Even try and keep it away from children under adolescent age. The elderly have more vulnerable immune systems. In fact, their immune system strength starts to decline and they become more inflamed and more prone to cancer. We're also worried about the microwaves possibly interfering with drugs and toxins affecting the brain directly. Pregnant women should not use a cell phone because the developing fetus is vulnerable. We even think that the cell phone could affect male fertility. Now, male fertility has been in the research quite a lot lately. I think some of it's stress, some of it's lack of antioxidants in the body, and I wonder what contribution could be from the cell phone. Is it kept in the trouser pocket? People who wear glasses. Metal-rimmed glasses intensify exposure to microwaves to the eye by 20% and to the head by 6.3%. Now, I bet you didn't think about that. And people with epilepsy, the microwaves from a cell phone can increase the risk of seizure. So there you have it. Um, a lot of things that you probably haven't thought about. Um, I think you've got some tips now on how to use your cell phone safely for yourself and for children in your life and uh, it, be, it will be a useful reminder for you.